Caitlin, we actually just found out that Henrico police have made uh, brought some charges against this seventh grader. That seventh grader is charged with malicious wounding, felony uh, stabbing, as well as bringing a knife here on campus. Families tonight, they're really wondering how this happened, and officials say they're investigating if that student brought the knife into the campus or if that knife was already on to campus. Now, we do know that Henrico Public Schools right now do not have metal detectors, and we've learned that that is not because of a lack of funding. I'm honestly traumatized of what is what's happening here. Safety in schools is especially top of mind this Tuesday for many Brooklyn Middle School students and families. I feel unsafe. A stabbing happened in the middle of the school day at the Henrico school. Officials say it went down in the locker room. A seventh grader stabbed another seventh grader with a pocket knife. The rest of the school went into a lock and teach. The individual that was stabbed uh, has been taken to a local hospital, uh, serious injuries. Uh, we have a uh, person of interest in custody. Superintendent Dr. Amy Cashel addressed the incident. Of course, we understand uh, that you know, it's also upsetting to students. While this incident was isolated today and involved two students, um, you know, that, that causes upset to an entire student body. CBS 6 asked Cashel if any safety or security measures will be changed as a result of the incident. We are always evaluating our campus and school safety and security, so we have annual audit procedures that are done. Uh, certainly after any incident, we're doing an after action review. We're looking at every angle. We are never complacent. In August, the Henrico School Board approved millions of dollars to expand safety in schools. They allocated the funds for new cameras, door buzzers, and more school resource officers. The district did not have a request for funding for metal detectors, a method used in districts like Richmond City Schools. Earlier this year, CBS 6 asked if that's something the district has considered after guns were retrieved on school property. We've not moved that direction at this point. We really believe that it's the relationships uh, that are being fostered inside of our school communities that are the best preventative measure. As district leaders decide if they'll make any changes to their safety plan, students like sixth grader Nicholas Yanza say something this serious shouldn't happen again. I think there should be more kindness in this school because what just happened is honestly unacceptable. Now the family of that student that was injured says he is in critical condition. They say when he was stabbed, it hit his lungs.